Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing well. And in this video, we are basically going to unbox and talk about the Ballet wallet. Ballet, the company, they've sent me out this free pack. Uh, it's very kind of them to uh, get this unboxing done. Uh, I've done a few other unboxings of the Ledger wallet and the other wallet, which was the SecuX V20. Uh, they're all very good, uh, but I just feel that a ballet is um, a very different mindset. Now, when I say a very different mindset, what it means is that um, security wise, it's very secure, uh, you know, and um, what they say is that the keys are generated in two different countries. Uh, but as for every wallet, you, you know, there is a trust factor. You need to, you need to have that trust, right? Uh, it could be Ledger, it could be your SecuX, or it even if it's uh, Ballet. So first of all, let's look at the packaging. So this is a three pack. It's the real series wallet. If you can see over here, it's written. And then on the rear, it gives uh, some barcode. Supports over 70 plus currencies. You need to download the app and you can also go to the web browser and you can access uh, the Ballet website where you can uh, move your cryptocurrencies and uh, do you know whatever is necessary. So uh, let's go ahead and open one of this up and see how it actually pairs with your phone and how it works and how it looks like. So I'm just going to open up. Cardboard packaging, very simple, it says quick start, easy to use. Um, watched a lot of videos and I think that this is really one of the most convenient wallets, uh, cold wallets in the market, which is very easy to use for anybody. So let's go ahead and open this up. So here it is, it says uh, thank you very much and uh, Bobby Lee is the founder of this uh, company Ballet. Uh, Bobby Lee has got a good uh, track record in crypto assets and in other startups. You can Google and you can check that out. Um, over here it says um, you need to set it up so you know it gives you some information on the back so yeah it does come with this uh, plastic case where you can put in your wallet and you can uh, basically keep it somewhere safe it's a very uh, simple wallet that's why it's the most easiest and simplest to set up um, technically it's just uh, you know it's just like a normal wallet like you're carrying cash so if somebody gets a hold of this wallet then you know you are pretty much done or anything like that so let's take it out um, so I've just uh, taken this out and this is really thick I mean this is like pure metal and I think it's 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 quite hard I don't think so it's going it can bend that easily because it's really thick as you can see over here and um, you know it comes with this passphrase the first thing is you can scan this and uh, if you want to send uh, crypto assets well to your own wallet uh, this is your public address which you can give to anybody so it's very convenient and on the back you can write a memo or anything you like to and it looks pretty decent you know i've checked out the website the website is pretty decent as well um and uh, i would recommend that you know uh, you can of course carry it in your normal wallet because it's just the size of your credit card i'm just going to show you uh, so there is uh, no difference so it's a nice thing to carry because you know that you're carrying all your crypto assets over here. Now, the, just to let you know, guys, that if you lose this, then basically you've lost your, uh, you lost your currency as well. So you need to keep uh, this quite safe if you have a lot of cryptos. But if you are going to use your cryptos on a day-to-day -day basis, then of course you can carry it. Or if, you know, maybe in the future, if they collaborate with any payment processor like Solana, then it'll be quite easy to use this uh, card the storage case is uh, of plastic and you know you can just place it inside and uh, you can just keep it like that just to keep it a bit safe so that you know uh, nothing gets scratched off or peeled off uh, which is good so here is uh, the ballet app I have installed it um, first of all I need to scan it so if I go hit scan it will say you know you need to scan it so here we go if i scan it 
that's it. So it's um, it's picked up the card, uh, and what I need to do is I uh, can uh, of course add uh, more coins and tokens, and I can add more coins. Uh, I can search for coins. Now the thing is, it doesn't support all the tokens or the coins, so it's just let's say like a Dodge uh, Dodge coin. And I can activate it. I have dodge, so it will basically show up over here. And I've got some uh, Shiba, uh, Shiba Inu. I can activate that as well. So uh, pretty much all the coins which I have, it actually supports, which is good. Uh, it might not support every coin, so that's the downside. Uh, but the thing is that uh, you can you can have a look over here, or you can check from the website before you. Uh, you know get this wallet so that's it um, now the second thing is how to activate it uh, first of all you need to verify it one of the things I can show you over here is that you have a couple of options like manage collectibles NFT send receive and verify so on you can verify as well so if I verify you can you know you can it's quite simple entering in the past phrase so if I verify it over here my um, well, it can be verified, right? And uh, then I can enter the full passphrase as well, and that would basically verify. So that is the place where you can verify your uh, wallet over here in the app. So that's one thing. Uh, secondly, if I want to buy, I can simply buy crypto straight away from here. I don't have to go to Coinbase or anywhere. I can just say hit, uh, say if I wanted to buy a few Dodge coins or uh, Shibas or Dyes or Litecoin, I can just simply click and then I can just go into that and I can buy it. So for example, if I go into that and say amount, so it's uh, say 100, and I click next and then it'll basically, it'll ask me for uh, the serial number and all I have to do is put in the last digits of the serial number and then I can go into the next step and so on. So that is one thing. So it's made very, very simple. It's, it's not complicated at all. And if I go hit back, and I click more, I get all these options over here. You get the send history, you know, you can purchase a wallet, business partnership announcement, English language, uh, language, you've got currency as well, uh, you know, 3D view and so on, show put, so show purchase, a Bella wallet card for a new guide and uh, expert mode as well. So, you know, you get all these options. And the good thing is that, of course, if the app is updated, you can update the app. But the main point is that your currencies, uh, your crypto assets are not stored over here. They're all stored on this uh, card, which makes it very safe. And of course, uh, this uh, passphrase, passphrase was generated, uh, you know, in they say that it's generated in two different offices around the world but that's another debate but guys this was a very simple video on how to set up the ballet wallet into your phone anybody can do it it's very simple as i showed you you just literally scan it and all you have to do is that's that's once when you scan it over here it'll just simply pop up over here as it's done so it's already added that's why it's not going to be added again i've removed the other um sort of um the other uh, cards which were showing up and I just want to keep my card as this one it says real Bitcoin I can get rid of this I can just uh, rename it as well I can say so I've just renamed it to MB wallet and if I click done so it's shown it's showing me as MB wallet and I can start adding my coins and then all I need to do is keep my card very safe right so guys this was a very quick tutorial of uh, the ballet um, card uh, the wallet it's a cold wallet if you have any questions uh, leave it in the comment section below and uh, you know I will reply back to you but uh, if you want to purchase this wallet uh, it's a very good option go for it uh, you guys will really enjoy having this piece of device very simple and very easy to use so this is definitely going to be my go-to sort of uh, crypto cold wallet which I'm going to store my cryptos on Alright guys, um, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye for now.